Kim Kardashian is rapidly losing followers as fans speculate about Taylor Swift's Barb track. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star has dropped hundreds of thousands of followers since Swift released Thank You Amy on Friday 19 April. As reported by Page Six, last month, she had 364.3 million followers. As of Monday 22 April, she has 363 million, and the number is continuing to waver. Swift's newest release is being blamed for the impact. As Swifties speculate one of the tracks is about her, fans have also bombarded Kim with comments on her latest Instagram post, referencing the new song, which appears on Swift's new album, The Tortured Poets Department. She seemingly makes several references to the reality star in her song Thank You Amy, the pop star released her 11th studio album at Midnight ET on Friday 19 April. Only a few hours later, she announced a surprise 2M version that extended the record to a further 15 songs. The first sign that the album's 24th track from her new album might be a reference to Kardashian is the capitalization of the letters K, I and M to spell out her first name. There are other clues. It appears that Swift could be making a reference to Kardashian's 10-year-old daughter Northwest dancing to her 2014 single Shake It Off on TikTok. Shake It Off about ignoring haters. She also mentions Amy stomping over her grave, possibly nodding to the one she crawls out of in her music video for Look What You Made Me Do from her 2017 album Reputation. This was widely interpreted as a revenge album after Swift was cancelled in 2016, after her feud with Kardashian erupted. And maybe you've reframed it. Swift sings and in your mind, you never beat my spirit black and blue. I don't think you've changed much and so I changed your name. And any real defining clues in one day. Your kid comes home singing. A song that only us two is gonna know is about you. She then sings the chorus, all the time you were throwing punches. It was all for nothing and I can't forgive the way you made me feel screamed. F you. A me to the night sky. As the blood was gushing but I can't forget the way you made me heal. So on Monday 22nd of April, Kim Kardashian addressed a series of rumors about herself during an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. It was the reality star's first interview since the release of Taylor Swift's song. The host Kimmel. 56, did not ask Kardashian, 43, about Swift's song, instead, he asked her to respond to a series of online rumors about herself. Kardashian, who opened the interview by saying, life is good, claimed that it is true that she sleeps with her eyes slightly open. She said she knows this because my sisters have taken videos and pictures of it. She also said that it is very true that she blow dries her jewelry before she puts it on in order to warm it up. I hate being freezing, she explained. When you put on cold jewelry or anything with a zipper, I just need it warm. She then confirmed that she always asks someone else to take the sleeve off her coffee cup because she can't stand the sound of cardboard rubbing against cardboard. Yes, that's true. And I hate the feeling, she said, adding, I just can't see it being done. Or I can't hear it and I can't feel it. The cardboard getting moved off of the cup is like nails on a chalkboard to me. The pair's long-term feud began when the reality star's and boyfriend, rapper Kanye West, famously stormed the stage at the VMAs when Swift won the prize for Best Female Video in 2009. West declared that Beyoncé deserved the award for single ladies then. In 2016, West released his song Famous. I feel like me and Taylor Swift might still sleep together. Why? I made that be famous. West and Kardashian leaked a phone call that appeared to show Swift approving to have her name used in the song, which is something the Cardigan singer denied. Swift's team immediately denied the claims in a statement, claiming that West hadn't run the lyrics past Taylor, but had instead asked her to promote the song. Kanye did not call for approval, but to ask Taylor to release his single Famous in her Twitter account. She declined and cautioned him about releasing a song with such a strong misogynistic message. Taylor was never made aware of the actual lyric I made that bitch famous. This led many to brand Swift as a snake and this backlash led to the pop star taking a hiatus from the public eye. My career was taken away from me, Swift told Time in an interview for her Person of the Year 2023 award. You have a fully manufactured frame job in an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim Kardashian edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar. 
That took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really hard. I thought that moment of backlash was going to define me negatively for the rest of my life, she said. So what do you say? Please comment and like below.